These Cyberblades are kind of the Nintendo Switch of the gaming headset world. What the heck do I mean by that? They've taken over the role of my Astro A50s at my gaming PC as you can dock them and get an instant connection, but I can also Bluetooth them to my Steam Deck and play with them on the go. And in that aspect, they've replaced my AirPod Pros. There is one feature or aspect that I think is lacking with the Cyberblade, and it comes down to compatibility with the dock, and if this feature were to be added or integrated with the next version, it would by far be the most versatile gaming headset I've ever seen. That is a pretty penny, mini shekels if you will, but to not waste your time, yes, I do think these do warrant the $330 price point, as they sound better than my AirPod Pros and as good as my Astro A50s, without having to have over-the-ear cans on, because sometimes I'd rather just have one or two earbuds in. A quick disclaimer for my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, these earbuds were sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. I haven't been paid or told to say anything about it, so if there's any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it. So these companies make better products over time. So by far the coolest feature or factor of these earbuds, in my opinion, is going to be the fact that you can dock them and get an instant wired connection via USB-C to your PC, controlling Windows 10 or 11 volume by spinning the dial wheel, which has a nice resistance and distinct steps. You can also pause and play your media, skip tracks, etc. All the things you're accustomed to with keyboard media controls. And keep in mind, while it's paired to your PC, it is charging the entire time. But when you want to take these on the go, you grab the little charging case, which I will say is a little bit bulkier, not as sleek, doesn't fit in the pocket as nice as AirPods. Now, up until now, my dedicated daily drivers have been the Astro A50s when I'm at my gaming PC. I have tested the flagship offering from SteelSeries and Sony and Bose. I know the last two aren't really gaming specific, but people, people use them. For one, I have never experienced audio quality on on par with the Astro A50s, especially in portable two-piece earbuds. But they do, not only in volume, even at their peak volume, they never get distorted, they are crisp, clear, and best of all, since they are two distinct earbuds, you're getting a very good stereo spread of where enemies are. The only con or downside to using the Cyber Blades on PC and why I will be going back to my Astro A50s is the fact that there is no audio out, no 3.5 millimeter aux out jack that I can plug into my mixer, the TC Helicon Go XLR. So for streamers and YouTubers that use an audio interface or a mixer, you're not going to have that full control over the cyber blades or any control, I should say, if you're using a mixer, you're going to have to go directly through that sound source in Windows 10 or 11. Having said that, if you're running a USB microphone as opposed to XLR, so you don't have a mixer and all of your game sounds are handled through integrated in Windows 10 in the software, then absolutely there's no shortcoming or drawback here. As for using the cyber blades on the go, I've alluded to it several times throughout the video already, but they do sound better than my AirPod Pros. I do have the first gen AirPod AirPod Pros, however, my girlfriend has the Gen 2s, I've used those, and these still sound better, not only in accuracy, they're not overpowering in the bass, however, they do have enough low end, and I also noticed the mids, which are generally pretty muddy where dialogue and footsteps are, was actually pretty crisp and clear. I did test these extensively with the noise cancellation on and off, I will say I 100% prefer having the noise cancellation on, same thing with the AirPods, because if you have a fan in your room, or maybe you're a snoring spouse next to you that sounds like an old chainsaw, or God knows whatever, you're not can hear any of that and you can focus on your game sounds. It's phenomenal. Just like the switch docking takes priority, when you drop in the carrying case into the secondary dock, I guess you will, the desktop dock, that will automatically disconnect any Bluetooth connections you have. So if you're Bluetooth to your phone or your Steam Deck, when you drop it into your PC, that wired connection is going to take precedence and you cannot connect to any more Bluetooth devices until you lift up that carrying case out of the PC dock, thus breaking that tethered or wired connection. Then you're able to make the carrying case discoverable and connect to new Bluetooth devices. But it is a very very neat experience being able to drop in that carrying case and then having it instantly change the audio output of my PC and being able to control the Windows 11 volume from the dial wheel of the actual carrying case. These earbuds aim to replace over the ear cans such as the SteelSeries Arctis Pro over here and they aim to do that by maintaining a low input lag at 36 milliseconds which is not bad while also using the latest Bluetooth technologies and being substantially smaller and more lightweight than a pair of over the ear cans. There is also three audio modes and unlike something like an equalizer that just shifts some of the free frequencies around, these are actually changing the way that the earbuds function. For example, gaming mode is 2.1 stereo, focusing on low input lag or delay at 36 milliseconds, also boosting up the mid-range frequency, somewhat like Turtle Beach superhuman hearing, as where movie mode is a virtual 7.1 surround, and music mode is doing all this black magic voodoo to make your music sound better. The little carrying case does some system on a chip magic. You do have six microphones, and this is going to be for your active noise canceling, which I will say was actually very good. As for battery life, you're getting an estimated six hours, and that is in the worst possible possible 
scenario, meaning connected via Bluetooth with the RGB on and the noise canceling on. Well, if you thought that was the worst case scenario, you might be wrong. ASC wired mode, which is obviously that docked mode to your PC, you're actually getting four hours or around four hours of listening time on a single charge. But this does support fast charging as five minutes on the dock or on the charger will get you 40 minutes of listening time. And this is absolutely awesome. With just the double click on the dock, you can switch to Bluetooth mode. So if you are gaming wired to your PC, but then you want to Bluetooth to your phone to be able to take a call with these buds, you can do that. And the dock is also IPX4 waterproof rated, although I'm not going to test that in this video. As for the packaging, this would actually be quite a handsome outer box if it wasn't for this orange logistics or inventory label. However, it is directly from the manufacturer Angry M over here. You're going to have this top padded protector with a little bit of foam. There is some nice laser cut foam keeping both of these items securely in place. And there is some nice cutouts for your fingers, which I do like as well. Pulling back this top deck, you are going to have two USB-C cables and various links, and you are going to have your documentation, as well as some additional sizes of earbud inserts, which I genuinely like to see. So this cardboard actually isn't meant to be removed from the packaging. It is actually stuck in place with some pretty strong adhesive. So it would be nice on their next version or iteration if they had a little carrying case for all these additional accessories, in this case, these silicone ear inserts. But what I find really neat is it's not just additional sizes, but also you have these squishy memory foam versions and then some typical rubber or silicone versions down here. I'm definitely going to be trying both, but these memory foam versions feel insane. You do have a two foot USB-C to USB-C cable. It does have a Velcro tie back. It is one of the ones that stays connected. I like to see that. Also, this cable is very lightweight, flexible, and braided. You're also going to have a six foot USB-A to USB-C cable sporting the same features and design as the shorty. And they are stamped, branded, or labeled on the USB-A and C end. No dust covers. Interesting. You will have two pieces of documentation, your user manual and your warranty policy card. As for the warranty, these earbuds carry a one year limited warranty, which for a $330 pair of earbuds isn't the greatest. As for the instruction manual, it's actually quite good. There are full color pictures, very descriptive. English isn't the primary language, so you will need to dig about halfway through the booklet. But once you get there, it is very informative and will give you everything you need to know. Well, that just screams premium, which I guess it should for $330. My goodness gracious. I thought this had like a little spritz of dandruff or something, but it looks like a little cosmic pattern. Nice. The base or stand feels insanely premium. I will say the carrying case also feels good, but not quite as buttoned down, if you will. And it's a very interesting design that this carrying case is also a control block or control module as well. It has these nice distinct steps or clicks very satisfying. Good resistance to turning this dial or wheel and it does look like you have an LED or RGB ring around the outside. And also by clicking on the top, you will be doing these things right here, right here. And you can either charge the carrying case with USB-C via this port on the Tukus or use these metal pogo pins and these contact pads to set it in here and plug in this USB-C port and it'll supply the juice. And then you got the main course. That was just the appetizer. That was actually pretty delicious. I'm not going to lie, but don't get filled up. This is the inside of the carrying case, if anybody's interested in that. And you will have two translucent stickers that are going to be covering the metal pads, allowing these to not be charged in route. Cosmetically, I've got to say these earbuds look pretty gorgeous with this wedge shape and that reflective chameleon finish. You have silicone or rubber ear tips, which you're accustomed to with damn near every earbud you probably ever use. But then you have these memory foam versions, which are very similar to actual hearing protection, like foam where you squish them down, put them in your ear hole, and then let them expand and you get a nice seal in your ear, giving you better noise cancellation and they're more comfortable. It's awesome that these are included because I actually popped $30 for an aftermarket kit for my AirPod Pros. And the stock ones on the Cyberblade feel the same, if not better than the aftermarket ones. Let's get some cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement out of the way because nothing is perfect. And unfortunately, these Cyberblade Gen 1s aren't either. I'm calling them the Gen 1s because this is the first iteration of this product. And as such, there is room for improvement, if you will. The main one being on the next version, I would love to see on that dock a little 3.5 millimeter aux out jack so you can use this with a mixer. The next con is going to be the carrying case is pretty bulky. You can't really slip it into a pocket as sleekly as that very low profile AirPod case. The next one is going to be the styling is a little bit too aggressive for my liking. And that glossy chameleon paint job or finish collects fingerprints and micro scratches like nobody's business. It's worse than piano black. And also what really tickles me in the wrong nether region is the fact you can't turn off that RGB lighting as it constantly is relaying the status of your earbuds and then also of the carrying case. So it'd be great if you could dim or completely turn off, disable that RGB lighting. So if you're in a dark room, it's not constantly flashing and disorienting you and whoever else is in the room. Next up, the application is pure and utter garbage. Luckily, you don't need it to really do anything, but it is horrendous. And there is no PC specific application. I would love to see a software suite, an application for Windows 10 and 11 uh, and Mac, where you could do things like set up equalizer modes and control virtual surround and turn off that RGB. I'd love to see some better software to back up the good hardware. I do wish the warranty was longer than one year. Any head 
headset over $300. I do think she can carry at least a two year limited warranty. Be nice if there were some slots or holes for the earbud tips or caps that you could put them inside the carrying case since it's already a pretty large bulky carrying case and doesn't slip in the pocket as nice and easy as AirPods. It'd be cool if you could stash your ear caps in there as well. And one of my biggest gripes or complaints, and that is the fact that there is no external volume control. There is no slider where you can move your hand up and down and control volume. You need to either talk to your voice assistant, meaning Siri or Google Cortana or whatever the hell you're using on your phone, or to actually use the volume rockers or buttons on your phone because there is no physical volume control on the earbuds. So hopefully with the next version of the Cyber Blades, there is an external volume slider as well. As for the pros, the versatility that these earbuds offer being able to be docked to your PC and then being able to be taken on the go as actual Bluetooth earbuds is freaking awesome. Granted, again, with that little caveat that you're not using an audio interface or mixer connected to an XLR microphone where you need a separate audio jack for your earbuds. The next pro, the sound quality is absolutely stellar. Better than my Gen 1 or Gen 2 AirPod Pros. About equal, maybe slightly better than the Astro A50s. That's a hard comparison because the A50s are over the ear headphones, which are going to seal over your ears, marinate the sound a little bit different with those 50 millimeter drivers, as opposed to earbuds, which are firing sound directly into your ear canal. It's going to produce sound differently. The audio waves travel differently and whatnot. All the included earbud tips or caps, if you will, is awesome to have that customization to be able to fit your hole just right. You're going to find something to plug your hole just right to where you're going to get a good seal, meaning less of that sound is bleeding out. People around you aren't hearing what you're listening to, and you're hearing more of what you're listening to. And most importantly, that digital noise cancellation, that electronic noise cancellation can do its job better. Next up, the overall fit and finish or build quality is quite good. There's no big creases or panel gaps where the shells come together. Everything looks nice, buttoned down, a nice resistance with distinct steps on that carrying case. Everything feels good. Also, the packaging is in line with what you would expect from a flagship headset. So if you're buying this as a gift, people aren't going to open it up to some packing peanuts, three-time recycled cardboard in there. So the verdict, these cyber blades are absolutely amazing. They sounded good connected to my Steam Deck on the go. They sounded good connected to my phone listening to Spotify. Now, I do wish I would have gone with the black version, a little bit more sleek. I feel like I could have worn them out in town a little bit more, maybe to the gym and whatnot, as opposed to these chameleon reflective ones are a little bit too gaudy, which I think I actually requested that colorway like an idiot. I was very impressed with these cyber blades. They are linked in the description below, and I will see you stallions and stallionettes tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of gamer heaven join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where i go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my ph balance is on point just kidding starting june i'm going to be live streaming a lot thanks for watching this has been ak40 kevin hosting gamer heaven and i'll see you tomorrow because i upload daily all the time 60 percent of the time sometimes most of the time peace